Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Ricky2365. My name is Rick. This is your channel. We're going to talk about Medboard today, guys. Okay? So, uh, today I received a message from uh, one of my viewers uh, on Instagram. And I feel that this the question that he asked me and the comments that he put down there were kind of silly, you know? Uh, and that was my first impression. Uh, and I got to tell you guys, I was wrong to be thinking that somebody's concern, doesn't matter what they are, are silly or are insignificant or are, or the question might be stupid, you know? I should know better than that, okay? Uh, and I'm gonna tell you why, it's because we are always discriminated based on what we think, what we know about the med board process, you know? There's a lot of people out there who are not receiving any, any, any compensation for any other injuries, why? Because they, because they don't know better. And I'm gonna to talk to you guys about it. And as soon as I get home, I'm gonna post this video and I'm gonna send that individual that link so he can see the video. So if you're watching, uh, I think I give you the run, uh, the run answer from the beginning. Uh, I say to you, you ask me something about some eye uh, uh, problems and I say back to you, no, it's not gonna happen. And let me tell you, let me tell you, Damn, I was wrong, okay? I was wrong. Because it uh, doesn't matter the the, uh, the injury that you have, okay? If it's with the eye or your back or, or your head or don't matter what it is, uh, you can receive some compensation from the uh, military, from the Department of Defense, if those injuries occur while on active duty or while in the, uh, in the acts uh, 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 or while during training or, or whatever the case may be, okay? And as we, as we call it on the uh, on the med on the med board process, is is if any of those injuries occur because of an instrument of war, you you should be covered. You should have some comp compensation. So this individual sent sent me a message today saying, "Hey, I have these allergies, uh, this infection on my eyes. Uh, I mean, uh, they're not going away." I've been in the military for X amount of time, yada, yada, yada. Can I get med board for this? Looks like the, uh, uh, the wife is looking into, the, uh, into that case. And I gotta tell you the truth. I gotta tell you the truth. When you say that from the, from the, from the, for, for the first time to me, uh, and I'm reading it, I'm like, come on, man, you're tripping. But I started digging into it and I started looking about it and I came to, to, to this answer, okay? This is, this is the answer from me to you, okay? Don't take it as uh, legal advice. I'm not an attorney. Take it as your uh, as 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 just some kind of a, a, a words of wisdom from somebody that's been in the military for many many years. So I got to tell you guys, yes, you you should be compensated, okay? And why you should be compensated? Because it happened while you were in the military, and if you did not join the military with that eye problem, the military owns what happened to you. The same way that the military owns you when you do something, uh, or not you, or anybody, when they do something very stupid and they be like, no, everything you do out there represents the military, represents the unit, they're not going to say your name. They're going to be saying, uh, United States soldier, and that is correct, you know, that <laughs> same thing applies. If something happens to you, the military owns it, okay? So uh, you just got to make sure that when you present this case to your doctors, they do understand uh, when this, when uh, and how this did actually happen, okay? Uh, and I'm, I'm gonna give you a couple examples. If this started after a concussion or after a, some kind of problems that you have while attending a basic training or a, 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 a field exercise or during combatives or during uh, um, some, uh, some training, uh, prior to your deployment or ex or maybe while deploy uh, Or anywhere you need to let them know how actually happened what what actually started the whole thing, okay? So they can then so they can then Put the same information that you're giving them. Okay into your records Okay, so when you go to your doctor and your doctor looks at you and trying to diagnose your your condition he can he can determine a hey, this is what you got type 2 Type two eye infection, whatever, whatever the case may be, a cure while doing X, Y, and C duties in the military, uh, training for whatever combat. 
So when you get out or on your way out through your, uh, your through your med board, even if you get med boarded for this or not, which is not it should, it should not be that uh, it should not be a, a big issue. Uh, the the VA can compensate you for this. The Department of Defense can compensate for you you for this. Okay, so uh, now some advice I'm gonna give you. If you are looking at uh, at a med board right now and you're 100% healthy, I will say to you, uh, I will say to you, man, there's a lot of people that are really jacked up out there. Uh, and I gotta tell you, if, if this prevents you from performing your job and your duties as a soldier in your MOS, I will say to you, ask your doctor for a med board. Remember what I say, if this condition prevents you from doing your job, like I said it, you know, 100% for X, Y, and C, yeah, tell your doctor. Tell your doctor, hey, doctor, you know, it's, it's over, you know? I can't do it anymore. And then let your doctor determine if he's gonna push for a med board or no. Nine out of 10, I'm gonna tell you, they're probably gonna say no. They're gonna try uh, everything they can to get you fixed. Uh, hopefully they fix you, because let me tell you that health is better than anything uh, but since you have this mentality already okay and you are in you are in a good track let me tell you, you are in a good track I will say to you this I will say to you this make sure that you pay attention uh, to your medical conditions to everything that is happening everything that is happening to you make sure that every time you go to sickle to your doctors make sure that they diagnose you with something if you go if you go to the doctor it's because you're sick or it's because something hurts Make sure that they do the proper uh, the, the proper treatment. Make sure that if, if, if something inside of you hurts, they either take an x-ray or do an MRI, not just touch you, ah, this is what you got. Uh, how can you say that? You have to question your doctors. You have to question their uh, diagnostics, okay? Uh, if today you went to the doctor for stomach pain and the following day you still have the, the stomach pain, go again to the doctor. Uh, if you have, a, if you go in the morning for stomach pain and they give you some medication and the medication doesn't work uh, within the, uh, you know, go go to the emergency room. I'm 100% guys. We pay billions of dollars to have this kind of uh, uh, medical treatment. Use it. Use it. Okay. Let me tell you more. Let me tell you more, guys. I'm I'm, I'm, very, I'm very serious when I, when it comes to this. Uh, when it comes to this. Uh, if you get some medication from the doctor, like in my case, I drink, I take a lot of medication for my anxiety, my depression, and PTSD. Ask your doctor, doctor, what is the recommended time before I still feeling, uh, before I start feeling better with this medication? What, what is, what is the effective uh, time for this medication to take effect on my body? And they will tell you, ah, oh, 12 hours, 12, 24 day, uh, 24 hours, seven months. <laughs> you know, take your medication like they tell you. You know, and then unless you have a uh, unless you have a some kind of allergic reaction or something like that, you will know. So uh, I think I answer your question. You know, every time that you guys ask me a question, uh, I go uh, and then I just I just get crazy. I like ah, oh, well, I gotta make a video about this. Yeah, yeah, I get excited. But uh, my main duty is to inform you and to inform anybody anybody else. Who might be going through the same situation correctly to make sure that you guys get the correct advice the correct guidance the correct uh, 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 words from me to you so when you quote me and I say oh I saw this video you know this guy said this and this uh, if you call me correctly just like I stated it uh, you won't be you won't be lying to nobody Okay, uh, and I gotta tell you guys, I gotta tell you, uh, I have mad love for you guys. All you guys out there watching, don't forget to like the video, share the video, comment on the video, and subscribe to the channel, guys. Come on, get it. You got a couple minutes right now. Let's let's, let's subscribe to the channel. Uh, thank you so much, guys, for watching. Life for real. You guys are amazing. Anyway, if you have any other questions, let me know in the comment section below. I will see you guys. I will see you. I will see you guys in my next video. Take care, bye.